Welcome back to the Red Coat Rundown. I'm Giancarlo. And I'm Joey. Today we are talking about different things around BHS. Stay tuned. Did you know there's a virtual reality room in BHS? On the second floor of the library, the virtual reality room will be ready to go sometime in December. Hey, John Fabian here. And today I will be asking the hard questions. Today's hard question is, what is the VR room? Let's go find out. Mrs. Downey, do you know what the VR room is? What's a VR room? We have one of those? We actually do. Where is it? It's in the third floor, like near the library. There's a third floor above the library? I'm still out here asking the tough questions. Kyle Chan, do you know what the VR room is? Uh, yeah, isn't it that room with like the radio station? And now, let's go find out more about the VR room. Mrs. Nero, when do you think the VR room will be finally complete? Uh, we're hoping to bring in our first class in the next couple weeks. Um, we are adding some art software probably in the next two days, and then an art class is going to come in and use it. Uh, we've been bringing some science teachers in to look at some science software, so hopefully we'll start bringing other classes in in the month of December. What type of programs does the VR room run? Um, right now, a lot of what we have is um, some science applications um, that we're looking at and not quite happy with, so we're looking to kind of push beyond what you can do in the classroom, so what you can't see in the classroom. It's very up and coming, so software is being built as we speak. So some things we are before the time on and some things we are just at the right time for. But then social studies, visiting places, talking with people, there's some world language stuff coming out hopefully soon that we've looked into and some of the art possibilities are crazy. Um, that you literally can draw all around you a cave and be inside it and things like that. So one thing we're looking into is starting a club that after school and we're not quite sure how this looks like because a piece of it would be educational. We also this is John Fabian. Now back to the studio. Wow, the VR room seems very cool. I'm sure that it will become a big part of school come December. Berlin High School has a variety of clubs anyone can be a part of but there are some people who don't really know about them. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Seth Scioli, and on the Red Coat Rundown today, I will be talking to you about some clubs that people really don't know about. So Robbie, what does the gaming club do? Well, when you go to the game club, you can pretty much do anything there, as long as you like bring in, like for instance, I've had people bring in card games, NES Classic, PS4, as long as it's, of course, you know, allowed to be in school, you can pretty much just do anything with your friends. Sounds cool. What type of people do you meet at this gaming club? Well, a variety of people. I can't really, like, plumb them all up into, like, one area. I'm not going to say gamers. Obviously, not everyone is a gamer. Um, you can pretty much just see anyone. I've had people who don't even know what a video game is pretty much just come in. Nice. I'm here with Olivia, co-president of the TV club. Olivia. What does a TV club do? So in TV club, we work a lot with cameras. Um, we do a lot of more of the creative side of things. So we'll make videos based on the school. Like uh, in October, we did a time lapse of the Color Wars. So we filmed all the hallways decorating the, the for Color Wars and the pep rally. So we just do videos like that. We learn how to use cameras, how to edit, and um, just the creative side of things. Olivia, what does a TV club do to get people to join? To get people to join, we basically just make videos, putting them out there, hoping that people will see them as different and unique, and that they'll be more interested to join and see that it's very interactive and that people have a lot of um, participation in these videos. Very interesting. Thank you, Olivia. You're welcome. I'm here with Mrs. Rice, and we're talking about the newspaper club today. Mrs. Rice, what does the newspaper club do? Well, the newspaper club gets together about once a month. We meet to report on things that are happening in the school and the school community. So any events that are going on, anything newsworthy, anything that we want to let students know about, and not just students, but other people in the community as well, because it does go out to everybody in town. Mrs. Rice, why would people want to join the press team? I think it's a great opportunity to get involved. If you like to write, if you like to do design or layout, if you like to draw, 
really there's something for everybody in newspaper club. Just gives you an opportunity to put something on your resume, have something on your brag sheet, and get involved to meet new friends. It's very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Rice. You're welcome. Did you know about these clubs? Because I didn't, but now I do. And I might join one or two of them. Reporting from Berlin High School, I'm Seth. Now back to the studio. Wow, I did not know we had that many clubs. I think I might look into the ones they talked about. Neither did I. If you want to know more about those clubs, don't forget to look on PowerScore. Check in with one of their teachers. Now on to sports. Here's Caitlin's interview with Ryan Hyde, one of the captains of the basketball team. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I'm here with one of the captains of the basketball team. Hi, I'm Ryan Hyde. Welcome back to our sports segment. In today's show, we will be focusing on the upcoming basketball season. What are some of your biggest games and how do you think they will go? Uh, some of them will be East Catholic, Platt, and Maloney. They're always good competition and we're lucky to have them on the schedule. How do you predict this season playing out? Uh, I believe that this uh, season will play out very nicely. We have a good team, a lot of returning players, and we expect to win and we expect to be a good team. Who are your captains and how are they? Our captains are Holden Murphy, Gianni Finelli, and myself, and we are all good and capable of doing the job. How many people are usually on the team? Uh, typically we have 15 kids on the team. You can have no more than 15. Make sure to check the school website for more information on other sports this winter. Thank you, Ryan. Now back to the studio. Wow. Sounds like the season is going to be exciting. I know I'll definitely be at one of the games. It's going to be fun to watch. Next up, Giancarlo will take us around BHS to cover some classes offered by BHS. Let's hear about the different electives Brown High School has to offer. Let's go to the field. Hi. I'm Giancarlo, and today I will be covering a variety of different classes the BHS has to offer, focusing on electives. If you're interested in learning how to bake or become an impressive cook, then baking and pastry arts or culinary arts may be for you. Here at BHS, our baking and cooking classes are taught by Mrs. Dennis and Mrs. Jurich. Baking and cooking classes will teach you how to properly measure ingredients, learn how ingredients react with each other, work with others, and become a great cook. Baking and cooking classes fill up fast, so be sure to sign up as soon as possible for next year's enrollment. The BHS Tech Ed Wing offers a variety of classes, from creating news broadcasts and broadcast journalism with Mrs. Dumas and Mr. Wolf, to learning about the structure of building and architecture with Mr. Wykander. If you like hands-on learning, the Tech Ed classes might be for you. There are many classes taught in the Tech Ed Wing, from working on small engines with Mr. Wykander to working in the TV studio with Mr. Wolf. You can find what best fits your interests. If you plan on pursuing a career that involves working and interacting with children, or you just enjoy being around kids, child development with Mrs. Dennis or Ms. Jurich may be for you. Child development offers hands-on work with kids in the study of their personal and biological development. BHS also offers Yukon ECE Child and Family Development, which will allow you to interact with kids and learn about their development while earning a Yukon College credit. Here at Brown High School, there's a variety of full year and half year courses. Take a look at the course catalog, school website, or talk to your guidance counselor, and be sure to take advantage of these great learning opportunities. Wow, I never knew BHS offers so many different electives. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors should be sure to take advantage of the variety of classes offered. I agree. Last up, we have upcoming events. This month, we have a lot of exciting holidays and also the start of the basketball season. I don't know about you, Joey, but I'm excited for this winter break. There's a long break, the holidays, time with family and friends. Hey, what could be better? More days off in just a week would be a lot better, but I'm looking forward to this break as well. There's also the first basketball game of the season coming up. True. I am very excited to have this season start. We're going to have a great season, and I'm looking forward to one last ride with my boys. 
Good luck this season, Giancarlo. Thanks, Joey. Make sure you come out and support the team. That's it for the Red Coat Rundown. I'm Joey. And I'm Giancarlo, signing off. See, See you, you next time. time.